and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2014 Mitsubishi Challenger. In this video we're going to go around the outside of the car, run through the quality of the vehicle as well as some of the extras fitted to it as well. Starting at the front of our Challenger, you'll notice that right, at, right away we do have a really nice big chrome nudge bar fitted to the front with a light bar already mounted to the top. Being a 4x4 this car looks like it already has been equipped to start going off-roading and going camping as well. With the room on the inside of the Challenger as well, that is a very big uh, advantage of owning a car like this. I like the way the grille sort of comes along as the headlights join in a little bit together the grille does have a nice streak along the front really bringing the headlights in together so they don't look out of place moving around now to the side of the car we're going to stop at our first premium alloy wheel it looks to be in absolutely fantastic condition with the bridgestone jeweler all-terrain tires fitted to it as well so this car is good to go we do have a nice little chrome garnish here on our driver's uh, panel to really break up the side of the car color-coded side mirror cuts and built inside indicators as well moving down the side of the car you'll notice we do have a nice silver tubular side step with the black grips above to really make getting in and out of this car very very easy color coded side door handles as well one thing i do notice and i would like to mention to you guys this car would look absolutely fantastic if we can fit some window tint to it it would add some uv protection to the vehicle helping protect the vehicle from those harmful uv rays in australia as well as lowering the inside cabin temperature as well as we move down the side of the car we do have these really nice wheel flares fitted to the vehicle to help prevent anything from flicking up the side of the car and damaging that paintwork with another pr great premium alloy wheel and brand new jeweler bridgestone tire coming around the back we do have these nice headlights that come around into the center of the car following the line of the windshield wiper a bit of chrome garnish to help bring it all together on the back we do have a reverse camera fitted to this vehicle as well as rear sensors and a nice Heyman Reese tow bar our spare wheel is located underneath the car here which does give us ample room inside the vehicle just giving a light tug on the back of the vehicle does lift up the uh, the tailgate with our genuine floor mats here as well as a really nice cargo barrier in there so you can really stack this up in here this is the five seater variant of this car as well which is really good to see uh, like I said just adding that much more room underneath here when you lift when you pull this out uh, that is how you actually there's a winder underneath there and it drops down your spare tire as well we do have some tight end points in the back too giving this a nice little pull and Pushing it down does close it really nicely. Moving around now to the passenger side of the vehicle, our diesel fuel fill cap is just here above our third premium alloy wheel. Like the other two, this wheel's in fantastic condition with a brand new Bridgestone Jeweler tire. As we move around the rest of the side of the car, we do have, once again, color-coded door handles, really nice tubular sidestep, and no marks worth pointing out down this side of the car. For a Challenger, this car is in absolutely fantastic condition, which is really good to see. The previous owner has put a lot of care into looking after their vehicle. Stopping at our fourth premium alloy wheel, it presents just as good as the other three. Absolutely fantastic condition with really, really um, good jeweler tyres fitted to this car all around. Like I said, with the nudge bar, the tyres, the 4x4 driving range, this car is ready to go uh, and go, go off-roading. It's set up perfectly. Now, by popping the bonnet on the driver's side and moving around to the middle, we can actually use the uh, lever to pull it across to the side. There it is. And popping up the bonnet just here like that. Now, even the engine bay has been absolutely fantastically looked after. It is very, very clean, which is good to see. No corrosion on our battery points there, which is another testament to how well looked after this car is. Now, this is the 2.5 4-litre turbo diesel engine, which puts out 131 kilowatts of power and 350 newton metres of torque. Now, being a family car, you would like to know this car is fitted with six standard airbags as well, which is really good to see. That tow bar on the back does mean that you can tow with electric brakes a full three tonnes, which is really good. Now, one last thing I would like to point out to you, guys even though this is a larger vehicle uh, you are not losing a lot in the way of fuel efficiency now this 70 litre diesel tank uh, with that motor and gearbox combination does actually use 9.8 litres per 100 craze driven giving you an average of about 714 kilometres from a full tank of fuel Moving to the interior of our Challenger, the challenge, this Challenger has been very, very well uh, looked after. Up here we do have a dash mat fitted to the car, which is a sign that the owner did care about the condition of their vehicle on the interior. On our door here we do have some very light marks into our carbon fibre finish, but that's the only marks that I can really see on the inside. Full electric window control on this really nice long armrest. Moving the steering wheel to the right, we do have uh, two keys with this vehicle, as well as our paddle shift is here, which will aid with towing. Rear diff lock button on the dash, right next to our so uh, side mirror control. We've got our uh, headlight control on the right here with our indicators and our front and rear windshield wipers here on the left. Uh, steering wheel does have very little wear on it, if any at all, with cruise control on the right, Bluetooth uh, media on the left and Bluetooth just down here on the bottom left. Moving to the centre of the car, up here we do have our nice uh, economy uh, infotainment unit which does show us all of our driving uh, trip computer knowledge and then just below that we do have our Bluetooth unit as well. As I mentioned before, this car does have a reverse camera that shows us perfectly where the car is, our distant judgment and then underneath 
we do have, you would be able to see the tow bar tongue if it was sticking out. Just below that along here, we do have all of our temperature, fan speed and mode buttons. A little bit of storage just underneath that. Underneath here we've got our parking uh, button as well as 12 volt socket. A little bit more storage underneath a nice uh, cover there. And even here is in fantastic condition as well with a nice pattern to help break it all up. Throwing this car down into drive and pushing it aside, we can use manual mode down here if we don't want to use the paddle shifters. Our 4x4 driving range, this has got the super select on it, so it does actually have uh, 2 high, 4 high, which is an all-wheel drive mode for the pavement, and then you've got your traditional 4 high and 4 low for off-roading. So you do have that extra gear setting in there. Mitsubishi did really well with that, giving us an all-wheel drive, which no other brand can actually produce. Back here, we do have dual cup holders, our handbrake, and then our center console, which is two tier, a top smaller tier to help anything that might be more important than a really nice deep center uh, tier underneath there, which does have our auxiliary port and a, another 12 volt socket underneath there. Now I'm gonna get my camera person to just pan around the inside. There are a couple of minor marks on the glove box there, but carpet's in fantastic condition. Seats are in fantastic condition, as is the headlining and back of the car. This car has only done 68,000 Ks, but I reckon it looks like it's probably only done about 30. First service was completed at 14,000 Ks, then 30, 44, 58, and 68,000 Ks by us. All done at genuine Mitsubishi dealerships, which is really, really fantastic to see. I'd like to thank you for watching our walk around video of our 2014 Mitsubishi Challenger. I hope this has answered any questions you have about our Mitsubishi Challenger and it's given you a really good idea on just how well looked after this car is. One last thing I would like to mention to you guys is this car being in the condition it's in does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Our premium mechanical protection plan will give you an extra five years of mechanical protection for the vehicle as well as 10 years roadside assistance Australia wide. If you'd like to know more about our premium mechanical protection plan, please click the link in the description below. But otherwise, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Beric Mitsubishi, customer service is where we thrive, so please give us a call at 9907 555.